for solving solve stressen algorithm another prerequisite that is required is to know to have the knowledge of quadratic residue let's understand what this is and here we are so this is the formal definition for quadratic residue what is it let's see quadratic residue for any two numbers a and n such that a and n are integers that is a comma n belong to set of integers z okay such that n is greater than 0 and gcd that is the greatest common divisor of a and n is equal to 1 then if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that a is said to be a quadratic residue modulo n if this is the main condition x square is congruent to a mod n is solvable otherwise it is quadratic non residue so this is our definition of quadratic residue but to be able to understand this more and in a better manner what we'll do is we we'll go and take an example so this is an example where n that we are taking as is 7 now we take the list of all numbers that are relatively prime to 7 so how, up till where we have to take we have to take the numbers up to n minus 1 from 1 to n minus 1 so 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square 5 square 6 square since 7 is prime number all these numbers will be relative to relatively prime to 7 correct now what we are going to do is we'll check them against the modulo of 7 to find the values of a how how we do is basically this is 1 square so 1 minus 1 divided by 7 if we take this one on the other side so 1 minus 1 divided by 7 will give you remainder as 0 you can check it so that is why we get the value of a as 1 with respect to 1 square with respect to 2 square 2 square minus 4 will again give us 0 okay so 2 square minus 4 divided by 7 will give the remainder as 0. Hence, we take, since this number is also less than 7, we take the value of a as 4. 3 square, 3 square minus 2, if you see, will give you 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 divided by 7 is giving you remainder as 0. And that is why we get the value of a with respect to 3 square as 2. Similarly, other numbers, if you see 4 square, you will get the value of a as 16. 5 square, you will get the value of a as 25. 6 square, you will get the value of a as 1. Uh, so now I would like to specify that in certain cases, like 4 square, you were getting the value as 16. Since it is greater than 7, you can also write it as 2 mod 7. How, how, how do we get this 2? So basically, 7 into 2 is 14. And if you subtract 16 minus 14, the remainder you get is 2. So it is equivalent. 16 mod 7 is also equivalent to 2 mod 7. 25 mod 7, similarly in same fashion, is equivalent to 4 mod 7. Since 7 into 3 is 21, and 25 minus 21, you will get the remainder as 4. So these two are equivalent. We'll write it basically a values have to be less than 7. And we get the values 1, 4, 2, 2, 4, 1. So you can see it, there's a pattern also. 1, 4, 2, and then it repeats 2, 4, 1. So yeah, and it's not necessary, but yeah, you get, you generally get a, usually you get a pattern. Now, since like I've written the explanations over here, and now if you see, uh, the values that you're getting on right hand side, that is for A, 1, 4, 2 are the only unique values. So 1, 2, and 4, 1, 2, and 4, these values are basically known as the quadratic residue of 7. And the remaining values that you have on your left hand side, that is 3, 5, and 6, which is left, are your quadratic non-residues of 7. So in this example, we took the value of n as odd. In next example, we take the value of n as even. So n, let's take for n is equal to 8. For n is equal to 8, from 1 to n minus 1, the numbers that are relatively prime to 8, that is the GCD of that number and 8 should be 1, are 1, 3, 5, and 7. So 1 square, 3 square, 5 square, and 7 square, we take these numbers. 
on the RHS, we find the values for A in the same old fashion. If you see, so 1 minus 1 by 8, you will get remainder 0. 3 square minus 9 divided by 8, you will get remainder 0. 9 mod 8, you can write it as 1 mod 8. So that is why we get 1. And if you see, in all the cases, you're getting values of A as 1, 1, 1. So 1 is the only quadratic residue for 8. And the remaining values that is 3, 5, and 7 are quadratic non residues. And that was our explanation for quadratic residues. Thank you.